by taking heed to the word of God. Junior wasn't a bad, bad child. I know Junior from he was growing up. Junior was always a part of the church. He, he was a part of the youth department back in, in my early days. And um, I can tell you, I can tell you what I called him all these years. What is the name? Tell them the name. And how did he get that name? We, we, we had a skit some years ago in the youth department where um, he played a very significant role. And um, one part, um, he had to say something about Juba, the scoundrel, and the miserable shepherd. Mm -hmm. uh, you remember all of that, right? Eh? Okay. All right, so, June, nine days time, it's three years. All right. So, nine days prior to his wedding anniversary, he's doing the honor of the thing. Earlier this week, he said to me, earlier this week, he said to me, anytime you're ready, be ready. Yeah. And then when we asked him, I him say, Let's hope in a mighty long way. Yeah, a mighty long way. Yeah. So that the buttons brought me from. Listen, my man. Me never expect to turn to sit up when I give that kind of thing. Do you know how many persons who may have even gone through worse than Junior and come back and say thanks to God? But Junior is saying, I have gone through this and this must be God. So I must give my life to the Lord. Leopold Davis. 
Tracy. Look to your left. Who's there? Your beautiful wife. I'm sure Maya and Gabby are somewhere looking on. I've not seen them, but I know they are here and they should be very happy. Where's Maya and Gabby? Oh, beautiful girls. And I, I, I ensure that I, I, I uh, point these persons out because we're talking about family. Amen. Mrs. Davidson came to the Lord and Julia did the honorable thing to release her to serve God. Now he is here and we pray that the children will follow where the parents lead and will come to know the Lord as well. A family we are dealing with. Praise the Lord. Your family are looking on, Junior. And look at that many people in church today. They didn't even know you were getting baptized. And they are here witnessing this. But look up in the sky. Can you see who is there? There are many more eyes looking down from heaven than they are in the church right now. And they are bearing record of this significant event that you are giving your life to the Lord. I rejoice and I give God praise. It's an honor to be your pastor. Brother Julian, upon your own confession of the goodness of God to you and your testimony of your determination to walk with the Lord from this day forward as a minister of the gospel. I have great pleasure baptizing you now in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. There is
And even after I get out of the pool, trust me, if you say you're ready, I am that kind of person who will make my way back to the pool because your soul is far more important than anything else. Father, we bless you one more time and we give you praise. We ask that your presence will remain with us as we go through the service today. God, we pray that you'll continue to do the work of salvation and someone will come to know you before this service ends and surrender their lives to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Worship team. One more of your selections. And then over to the moderator, Deacon Griffiths. God bless you. Bless God. We are together again. Just
this. Here, 22 to not yet. Pastor Porter baptized me right in the south. Then tell me I work a gas man. Can me tell you? Gas man, me did a work. Pastor Porter baptized me. Me left. I'm going to go for me to people them. The Monday. In the morning, I'm going to go back and work Monday night. I think I work a committee. Lady, we never know if a passenger, but can start the loading. You made it must start the loading. So we go in a hit and hold the seat and the driver get a good load to go on the grid. When we reach our road down the south, three vehicles in line. But they are telling the whole that good. Three vehicles in line. One trailer, my forty foot can't kill a trailer. One walk and they put down with the third in line. And we said the walk and in front of we pull out and be the road of the road down the south. Taxi in front of me, pull out and be in the trailer to go over the car. The one I'm in at this time, I go overtake too. So he pull out, and when he pull out, he couldn't pass. He said, couldn't never pass. The truck man sleep here, you know. The truck man drift to the mountain, I see him, and I carry the post on the car, so I head on when they go down, you know. Head on. The truck man just drift off and he will be in the taxi, when he in. As we stand up here for today, as a witness and the light of everybody there, a witness is a witness. The car go up and down the back of the container. You know, real space. Yes. And that is a combat coat. And we said, the pastor, the devil. And I was like, I'm bad enough. Me said, I'm not frightened. Me don't know what's going on. Me turned to my little girl, the stuff beside me. And I said, look what me baptized last night. I'm a good idea tonight. You know what I'm doing? Oh God. Everybody, we strongly believe it. We strongly believe it. Everybody in here, so to say, can you want to know that we are worshiper? Me a worshiper. When we come to church to worship, we just leave me alone. We need to worship with you. 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 We need to worship with you.
said, Sign shall follow the world. But today, modern dear Christian, we are run down sign. Sign must follow the world now. So let the world of God dwell in us richly. Thank 
to salvation. If you want to contact with this man, I'll see him in his here somewhere around with him. It is a great church since I was born. Hallelujah. He said, Hold a young man. Can take this wheel. But take heed to the word of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believed in him should not perish. Do you want to believe in him? You shall not perish. But have everlasting life. And everyone who takes on the cross of Jesus, we shall have everlasting life. Yes. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the horse that now come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. Hallelujah. If you're in a field, hallelujah. And Jesus shall put in his appearance. You shall not go back to your house to get anything. Hallelujah. So if you go back, figure that your prayers are pretty good. And you go back to your phone. You're the on the wrong tree. So when he shall come, hallelujah, if you're in on the whole stop, and your member say, me have 100 pounds when me draw and that in your one corner, you don't have one time to go back to the because the, the man come, the man come, the man come, Jesus coming down. Every eye shall 
上，又上一个地里，五万上万，一千个台，两个万，万，你那边万的四亿的，万，上班没有万，你咋拉过？你还有干的，我打我。
in their cars and they are feeling what they saw. They are not making figures them, but what they do, they lick them with their tongue. Yes. You sure yes. they are not? They do not have nothing to figure them. Just rub them in their head and hug them yes. and say, "Baby, yes. we love you." Yes. All they do, you rub them in their head. Yes. You are pass to their room. You say, "Cover them, Jesus." Yes. Cover them, Jesus. That is the love from a father and a mother and guardians. We can all be working. Stay fast and move ahead. I make a bone in the work of the Lord. For where labor will not be in vain. Let us root it and come in. The Hebrew boys said, they said, King, oh King, live forever. But if you give me a delivery, the God that we serve will deliver us. Let us walk fast like the Hebrew boys. Let us stand fast like Daniel in the lion there. Let us press towards the mark like the woman with the issue of blood. He said, but the eye could only touch the name of this army. I shall be made whole. She spared everything. But when she hear about Jesus, she said, but if I could only touch you. No matter where your situation might be, you might be sorry you want. But I like everybody, there's a God that said, and long here here cover you. And no people have any for yes or no. Sometimes you feel discouraged. And all you want, you're up in a red, you know. Sometimes, if you have stand on the low, so you have to have it public in your stella and put it on reserve. And sometimes you have to lean the bike for the, for the side and say, This is what we can do. Yes. But now let us bring it up. Let us back it up there. Because if we send up the praise, then the blessing will come down. Yes. My beloved brother, I'm leaving Santa Station. Passing back to our pastor. But Jesus Himself shall be sent from heaven with the voice of the archangel. And the dead in Christ both will rise. And those that remain in the land shall come up to meet Him in the air. I see a flight. It is not the American airline. It is not the Canadian airline. But the power himself will be Jesus Christ. I don't know he got no When the saints go marching, I don't know. Oh, glory to God. Jesus himself shall be saved. And those that remain in the life shall come up to meet him in the year. I love him so much. And the bishop in the local assembly. And the bishop for all the churches in the Caribbean. But this, this trip, if it's a bishop, is on that flight. And there is no first class. And no second class. Hallelujah. One flight. Yes. One class. Yes. If you only make your calling and election be sure. Yes. And Jesus went to call. Yes. If there's a Sunday school student and you behave yourself and stay on the power of Jesus Christ, you are not right. If there's an deacon and, and you behave yourself wisely, you are not right. For your member, you are not right. For your junior, we just baptized. You are not right. And sometimes you see what we just come. In past, all who they are, all who are killed with us. I love you all with the love of Jesus. 
Oh uh -huh. 
Thank you for that hand. Anybody else? Coming soon. We're going to invite you to the altar. In all his glory, let's just meet at the altar. Not just the Savior.
children to understand that we're not scaring you today, but we want you to come to know what is best for your life, your young life. Mothers and fathers, I want you to understand that we are not scaring you, but we want you to understand that if you should be lost, if you should die, and your soul should be lost, you cannot blame anybody. Hallelujah. It would be no
call upon him while he is there. You can talk to God for yourself. You can tell him of your intentions with him. Hallelujah. You can ask him to wash, to cleanse you, to purge you. You can ask him to forgive you of your sins, to forgive you of all the things that you have done wrong. And he can ask him to take you just as you are. Because he came for that purpose. He came that you might have life and that you might have life more abundantly. He loves you with an everlasting love. As we read earlier this morning, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but should have everlasting life. Everlasting life is yours today. Oh, hallelujah. You will escape hell by giving your life to the Lord. You will escape the destruction that is to come by submitting yourselves to the hand of God. Shall God the Lord ask you to come and pray for these on the altar? Hallelujah. Oh, it would be no
of the heavens. I decree and declare God that as I stand here in the name of Jesus, our God, I thank you for your anointing. I decree and declare that Lord God, you will touch every soul on this altar. Lord God, from the youngest to the oldest. In the name of God, the word declares, young man, I call upon you. Why? Because you are strong. God, I decree and declare that even as Ecclesiastes 12 and 1 declares, that Lord God, we shall remember our creator in the days of our youth. There was a time when Lord God, so many young men don't choose to remember you, but I pray God that you will touch their hearts, that they will not forget, Lord God, even as the word has gone forth today. But Lord God, that you will touch every heart, you will touch every soul, every individual, that your spirit abide, rest upon them. And I pray, God, that song, breathe on me, breathe on me. Holy Ghost, fire, breathe on me. Yesterday is surely gone, today I'll be. Father, breathe on them. Amen. Breathe on them. Breathe on all of us, Lord. For all of us need, need for you to breathe on us. From the very past that we even, Lord God, what we, what we we want to see as the lead. But Father, breathe upon each and every one of us. May we experience you in a way like never before. As you continue to be with us, to provide and be, Lord God, all that you are. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shadow, Hallelujah. Father, I give them all to you right now. Amen. And I decree and declare that you will just have your way. That, Lord God, your plan, your purpose, and your will will come to fruition in these young men's lives. God, every person here, young woman, God, the older, may their lives and what you desire for them come to fruition. Come against our plan of the enemy over their lives. We, we bind, we cripple, and we render powerless. Every father, Lord God, every thoughts, God, everything that the enemy has said over their lives, we bind and we cripple right now. God, I pray that you will begin to open some destiny. That you will begin to open some minds from Lord God, that restriction that they may be on, that limitation that they may be under. Break every chain and every shackle in the name of Jesus. For it is not by might, never it is by power, but by the Spirit of the living God, I decree and declare, chains are falling upon lives right now. God, chains are broken right now. Shackles are broken right now. In the name of Jesus, I come against every prince of Persia. I come against God, every devil, every demon. I come against every assignment of the enemy upon every life right now, upon this altar. I bind every fowler, I bind every curse, I bind every mouth, Lord God, that speaks bondage, that speaks restriction, that speaks limitation. Every mouth, every line, lips, I bind in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that Lord God, right now, as I open my mouth, I decree and declare that the God of heaven will break every curse, will break every chain, will break every bondage of, of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that your people will come to know you, that your people will come to experience you. Oh God, that your people will come to know you in the name of Jesus. Turn a soul to Paul. So that Abraham, Abraham to Abraham, a Sarai to save the Lord God, a soul to Paul, in the name of Jesus, turn some light around, in the name of Jesus, meet the Zacchaeus at their homes right now, take them on the God of Egypt right now, take them to the promised land that you have.
for them. For your will is not for man to perish. Never it is for man to perish. The Bible declares in John 10 and 10 that the enemy comes to kill, to steal and to destroy. But you come that every single man have life. Have life. Not just any life, but life. And have it more abundant. But I pray that your people will have life Amen. in abundance. Amen. I pray that your people will have life in abundance. Amen. So many people in this world today are not having life in abundance. As Brother David, he felt so good that is the Jesus that he has in him. That he can gyrate and go on. Because he understands the abundance Amen. of what life is. Father, I pray that your people experience that. Not just hear and see, but experience the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come on, can you say that Jesus is God? Before you move, is there someone here? Before you move, is there someone here on the altar who's saying, I need to give my life to the Lord and walk with Him? Anybody? Anybody? Come on, young people, pay, me, pay some attention to my man. Come on, look at me. Don't, don't, don't walk away, I said. Look at me. I want to give you the opportunity to say yes or say no. Is there anyone who wants to say, it's my time to give my life to the Lord? Take one is saying yes. Praise the Lord. You're not too, you're not too small, Take one. What do you say, Take one? Yes. Praise the Lord. Is there somebody else who is saying, yes, I want to give my life to the Lord? Your son, you, you can't say yes for him. He has to say yes for himself. Yeah, I heard you shake one. Anybody else want to give your life to the Lord? Come on, Sunday school boys, Sunday school girls. Young Martin is saying yes. You are serious about your yes to the Lord? Yes. Praise the Lord. But so they don't understand what they are doing. You know? They understand what they are doing. Any, 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 anyone else? No, you can't say yes for Karim. Karim has to say yes for himself. Take one. You will say yes for yourself. Anybody else? Come on, Jada. You have seen the you heard you the testimony this morning from Brother Davidson. Yes, he, he showed the scars that he has. And he said this must be God. Any of you can say it must be God who has who has done what he has done for me. Any of you can say that? Dante, can you say that? God is good to you. If God is so good to you, then there's only one thing. Latoya. What about you? George can't get up about this thing. George has to look for himself and Latoya for herself. Praise God. God bless you everyone. God bless you everyone. Remember, too late was the cry of the five foolish virgins. I do not want any of you to hear the part. Get yourself in line. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Come on, somebody give you a praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just put your hands together for Brother Ivatron one more time. And if you would believe, it's when Brother Ivatron came to church this morning to say, you want to serve in today? And he said, yes, ma'am. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you, Brother Ivatron. The Lord bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let me, let me extend our birthday greetings to... Well, I don't know if Nisha Thompson is online, but I know she celebrated her birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, belated to you, Nisha. Uh, happy birthday to Khadija Smith. Khadija, who is Khadija? Oh, happy birthday to...
to you when it comes on the 11th, that's tomorrow. Do enjoy your day. The 18th. Okay, well, I got it seven days early. Happy birthday to you next week, Sunday. Or Monday. Uh, Sister Kelly Dean Spokes, she celebrates her birthday on the 17th. Happy birthday to you when it comes. The Central Tabernacle Deliverance Center, they started their ladies week with a convention this morning. Uh, Sister Watkins actually uh, represented us, that's why you're not seeing her here today. Uh, and they continue for the rest of this week. Sister Dainty has the details, so I'm sure she will fill in the ladies, and uh, you are free to give support to Bishop Bernard and the ladies of the Deliverance Center. Men, it's a particular challenge to get you together, but I hope we will be together tomorrow night at 7 p.m. as we have much to discuss, all right? Please be out tomorrow evening, men, for men's ministry meeting. Tuesday, Bible study at 7 p.m. Wednesday, fasting at 9 o'clock. New Believers meeting on Wednesday at 7 p.m. New Believers meeting on Wednesday at 7 p.m. And then on Friday, Youth and Women's Ministry meetings. The choir invites all of us to their choirs in praise on September 24th at 7 p.m. They, they crave your support and the uh, contribution that they ask for each person uh, entering is $200 for adults and $100 for children. Food and refreshment will be on sale. Please give your support to the choir with their choirs in Paris. Conventions coming up on the 16th of October. Men's ministry in, uh, in uh, Mandela First Assembly of God and the women's ministry at the Assemblies of God Conference Center in Christiana. Please, ladies, give your names, those who intend to go, to um, your president, Sister Topaz Ramasar. And then, we are really in high gear for our crusade. Yes, we are in high gear for our crusade. It's fastly approaching. Dates. October 29th to November 10th, and it will be at the, the usual location near to the crossroad. Crusades require much prayer first of all. So I trust that we are all praying to this end. Each time you pray, remember the crusade. There's much to be prayed about for the crusade. It's a time when we leave the comfort of the sanctuary and we go for warfare. Going for warfare entails people who are really, soldiers who are really geared up for battle. We can't go into the enemy's camp and go like we are ordinary people. We must send the Holy Spirit ahead of us to clear the grounds, clear the way, and, um, and we go after anointed and filled with the presence of God to do that which uh, God wants us to do. What we're going to be doing is at the earliest time, Brother Paulus will be going down and getting the grounds uh, cleaned up so we look like yes, something is about to happen. All right? We want that to happen between this week or early next week, the latest. So people know that something is going to happen here, all right? And then um, we will we will go on the grounds with prayer shortly after, 
and um, just saturate that place with the, with the presence of God. And then we will move forward with other things as the time uh, draws near. Our speakers are already in place. Yes, we have spoken to all our preachers and they have confirmed their nights already. So the agenda is set. It's just for the time to come. Right? So let's prepare ourselves. I can tell our speakers, uh, I'm not telling you too early, but yes, you can pray for them as when you pray. Uh, we have people like the preaching policeman, Reverend Tamara, Blake, uh, uh, Evangelist Carton, Daily, Reverend Sherion, not Donald, uh, and yes, we have our, our own uh, Sheldon who will be a part of the of the preaching team. So we have a really pop our, our first presiding bishop will also be a part of it. So we have a really power packed uh, team of uh, preachers who will be delivering the word. Are we excited about that? Yes. Are we excited about that? Yes. And while we pray also, let's remember a crusade like this takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of money. I know some people get agitated when I speak about money, but I must do what the Lord has me to do. I won't be distracted by those who, those naysayers and the bad things they say about me. Right? And all I will ask the naysayers is to just have some love for your church and stop spilling bad beans about your church. When you tear down the leader of the church, you're actually tearing down your own church. And those who spread the bad things about the church, guess what? Every day they come to church the same way. <laughs> so if you hit the church so much, why are you walk home? Just clean up your apple and let us swim together. Because I, 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 I have nothing against anyone. My heart is clean, my heart is free to want everyone. So, if you have something that you think I should be doing that I'm not doing, I'm approaching, just come to me and tell me. And we can have a civil conversation. I won't bash you. I won't run you away. I won't act up, uh, treat you like you are nobody. I will never do that. Because I have a heart of love and I love everyone. Alright, so, let's put everything together, put hands and hearts together for the next few weeks and going forward. Let the love of God be demonstrated and we will see the harvest that God will give from this crusade. Come on, are you expecting big things? Amen. Are you expecting that the Lord will move in a rich way? Amen. Amen. Unity is strength and with unity we will accomplish, all right? All right? I love you. If you do not love me, no. I pay me love you. <laughs> we can say that again. If you even not love me, I pay me love you. So stop chat bad things about me. We are one people. We belong to one community. Hold on here. But guess what? I brought the come from. And if you have the counted bishop, Coming from your community, yes. your bad if you're not loving it. Yes. Stop around with your man. Yes. And let me let me let me add this to it. A bad nine if you're not loving it. A bad nine. Yes. You never want to stop with your eyes. Yes. Sorry, you cannot stop with your eyes. Right? Right? So I love it. Oh, my God. 
be free. Oh, the things of the Lord are all in the world. The fear of the Lord. I want to be stopped with the God of the Lord. If you need something that I have, the Lord will tell us that we now give you. The God of the Lord. Sister Claudia, we love you. I love you. Yeah, I was a I was a teacher. I I I I Give me some nice cold drinks. And then later in the year, you say, You win seven years. We are not off camera, we are not on camera. Because I want to know if you know some of it do later. Give me some nice. I do in school and nice as it. I'm a drink and bitch. I did as we told me about. I'm here. I'm going to allow you to be down here. We have a love and a quality. Yeah, we're close. Amen. I love you all. I love you all. I love you all. I guess what? I'm going to be free with me when we do this. Because I'm a, a part no one for any of us. I don't bless no one. Oh. Look, look at what the Lord is doing in our church. We don't have crusade and for this year and we baptize about nine people. Everybody else has big needs in that church. And we go there for two hours. Look at the quality of children the Lord has blessed us with. Look at the living love, let's live in unity so that they can grow up and still love and more love. Now, when they grow up and say, What do you think? What can I do with them? If people don't call us to come with them, that we just suspect so many of it. But let us love one another. But when the Lord said, well, children, love one another because love is of God. He that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. So if I may want to hear, you're still wrong. So you need to love me. So I will love you. Look here, a long time we don't know, we don't know, we don't know, we don't each other, so we love each other. Come on, everybody get up and shake somebody and tell them, say, I love you. You don't have to tell me, but tell somebody else. <laughs> to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace now and forevermore.